and Sonali. In this session, we will learn how to use the conditional formatting in Microsoft Excel. Open the Microsoft Excel file first. Start the Microsoft Excel. Click on the Start. Then All Programs. Microsoft Office. And then Microsoft Office Excel. You can create new file or you can work with this file. Here the recent files are then you suppose you want the new file click on the new you want a blank workbook or you want any template take you can take the template from this here is a sample templates are stored you can use the any template billing statement blood pressure tracker expense report you can use any i'm using my recent file here is a location of the recent files i'm opening this file in this file, HIP standard class division B record is saved. In this, serial number, name, paper 1, 2, 3, marks stored and total is also there. You can apply the conditional formatting for this. Suppose my first question, my first query is how to apply the conditional formatting, how to highlight the sales which contain marks greater than the 90. How to calculate it? First select the paper marks only. Then go to conditional formatting. Then highlight sale rules. Suppose you want the data greater than something or the less than something or between. First I am using the greater than. Click on this. The marks greater than 90. In which color? Highlight the text in. You can use the red text or light red, green, fill with the dark green text or you can give the custom format. Click on this. You can use the any formatting from here. I am using the green fill with dark green text. Click on OK. Only one, uh, uh, there are two values greater than 90. So, now it is in green text with the background green color. In same way, you can use the other options also highlight sale rules less than. Less than, suppose you want the data which is less than 30, give the your condition here with light red fill with dark red text or suppose you want the light red fill only, then select this, click on the OK. So now these two cells in right red fill in background. You can use the condition formatting between. Between means between the two values. Suppose the marks uh, between 50 to 70. Here I am using the custom format. I want the one different color. So fill I am using this color here ok click on this ok custom format these values are in between this suppose you don't want any this uh, formatting or highlights then clear rules clear rules from selected cells or you can the clear the rules of entire sheet also clear rules from selected cells now, I am using the other, this equal to option means exactly equal to this value. Suppose I want the value 30. You can do the formatting. Okay. So, there is no any value with the number 30. Suppose I am changing the value here 30. Then after entering the 30, it will be automatically converted into the red text because I have given the conditional formatting for this portion. So go to here. Then this option text that contain or a date occurring or duplicate values. You can find out the duplicate value. Text that contain actually it is applicable for the, the text. I have selected only numbers. So check this duplicate values. 
if there is a value duplicates then i am applying the yellow field okay the duplicate values with the yellow color again go to conditional formatting highlight cell rules i am first clearing the this rules clear the all the rules then again you can apply the new rule as per your requirement more rules you can select the rules here format only top or bottom rank values format only values that are above or below average format only unicode duplicate values use the formula to determine which cell to format you can use the any format all the cells based on their values these are the different option you can create the new rules by using this one more option text that contain so for this i am selecting these names go to conditional formatting then highlight cell rules text that contain text that contain what text that contains you can give the any name here i am giving text that contain shri which color you can give the color as per your requirement click on the okay so the name which include the s h r i is here then i am again selecting the text conditional formatting top bottom rules you can use this top 10 items suppose you want the only top 10 items or top 10% or bottom 10 items and bottom 10% or above average below average you can use this above average then above average these cells are above average when you are click on the okay it will be highlight in the red color cancel conditional formatting suppose you want the only top 5 items then for this click on this more rules you can this top 10 i am changing the value is 5 top 5% items only so you can use this then above average below average which cells are below average these are the below average when you you are clicking on okay this changes will be same and clicking on cancel then data bars actually these data bars are used to show your cell values this data bars will be filled inside your cells according to your your values we have color data bar in the cell the length of the data bar represent the value in the cells means how much your value for the 22 this is only when let's see by applying this conditional formatting data bars suppose in case of 98 suppose i am clicking this in case of 98 the value filled till the end when the uh, value 34 it's less as compared to 98 22 less as compared to 30 in this way we can use the data bars or color scale also i am clearing the first rule clear rules from this letter cells then again i am using the color scales you can use the color scale you can use the any color scale or you can manage it by using the more rules you can choose the any color as per your requirement from here it from the preview means the for the largest value for the lowest value suppose you want the largest value here or the number or percentage you can select here minimum value select here then maximum value will be here as per this the color for the minimum value is dark and maximum value is this color light shade you can use the color scale also you can use the icon sets for the uh, larger value suppose the la for the larger value green then for the medium you can use the orange and red for the low value you can use the any shapes or your 
require shapes from the mover rulers. You can clear the rules by using the clear rules or you can use the clear rules from entire sheet. So all the conditional formatting will be removed by using this option. You can manage the rules as per your requirement from here. For this, you can create the new rules depending on this. Rule type is this. You can use this. You can change the color scale then minimum value maximum value as per your requirement and then click on the apply and then ok in this way you can use the conditional formatting for your data in microsoft excel we will see the sort and filter in next video thank you